The Associated American Dental School Application Service, also known as the ADSAS, opens up this year on June 1st. With that said, are you ready to apply this cycle? Let's find out. What's up everybody, this is Dakota from Dental Pro and today we're gonna to talk about the five things you should do before you apply to dental school. The application cycle is quite literally a race to the finish line because there's twice as many applicants as there are seats available. So even if you're a great applicant, you might not get in if you're not fast enough on your application. In order to help yourself with the application, there's a few tips that I recommend to every pre-dental student before the cycle opens up. So here they are. Tip number one. You need to take the DAT before you apply. The application service does allow students to take the DAT after their application is finished, but if you don't have your final score after your application is submitted, the schools you apply to won't look at your application until it's recorded. Okay, tip number two, have your letters of recommendation done before the cycle starts up. Getting this done is crucial because this is one aspect of the application that you can't control on your own time. With that being said, if you ask your recommenders a few months in advance, that'll give them plenty of time to get your letters ready and then they can be compiled by your health professions advisor to be sent off in a committee letter or by some other means if you choose to do a different service for your letters okay tip number three have your personal statement ready before the cycle starts up and when I say ready what I mean is you've been working on it for a very long time and if you're just now getting started on your personal statement when the cycle starts up you might as well just throw away your application because you have not not adequately prepared. I'm serious about this. You need to have bounced ideas around in your head about what you want to show on your statement and after everything has been written down, you should have allowed several well-trusted people to critique your work. By the time the application service opens up, you want that thing to be perfect so that all you have to do is copy and paste it into the application portal. Okay, tip number four, know what schools you want to apply to before the cycle starts. This might seem kind of silly that I say this, but I have actually known a few you pre-dental students that they didn't have a clue about what schools they were applying to when they found out that they paid money to a school that they would never have a chance of going to because they didn't have the prerequisites met they got a little bit flustered anyway this will not only save time but it will also save money in the long run because each school you apply to will cost money. So in order to find out what schools you should apply to, I highly recommend purchasing the ADEA's Guide to Dental Schools to compare various schools in the U.S. When I applied, I was very vigilant about using this guide to help me pick the schools that I applied to. Okay, so tip number five, the last tip on here is have all of your information organized so that you know where to find things when the application service asks for them. This includes, but is not limited to, shadowing hours, volunteer service, work hours, as well as transcript information, which by the way, you will need to send off all of your official transcripts first thing when the cycle opens so that there aren't any holdups between the schools that you have attended and the application portal. So those are my five tips to help you with applying to dental school. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are awesome. Good luck with the application service. We'll see you in the next video. Keep living the dream.